All right, Best Buy. All right, Best Buy. You wanna go? You wanna go? Let's go. Best Buy, I love you. I did, I do, I don't even know. Fucking elite pro member of Best Buy. But yesterday, Friday the fucking 13th. Perfect day. Perfect day to do it all, right? And yeah, I'm in a fucking tank top because I'm going fucking hardcore for this one. Because Best Buy, on Friday the 13th, decides to really fucking Friday the 13th me up the ass. Right? First, it started out all nice. It started out all nice. By the way, Gears of War 5, sick. Sick. Anyway. So yesterday started out great, started out all nice. Get an email, nice, nice gesture email, nice gesture email. Hey, how you doing? You, you pre-ordered a while ago. Just, this is an email, your pre-order's coming up. Just check it out. Make sure everything is uh, kumsi kumsa. Just so everything's good when the time comes. That is a nice email, how you doing? How you doing? That's a nice email. So, I look and I say, oh shit. Legend of Zelda, a couple of amoebs. I right? New credit card. So I said, oh, let me switch that. Make sure everything's good. I don't want no problems. We're talking about fucking Zelda here, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about fucking Zelda here. Okay? So I go in. Click the link in the email. Right? Go to the fucking thing. Switch it, put the thing in. I don't even know what the fuck code bullshit error. I was like, what the fuck is this? Something's, that's that's weird. So I said, all right, let me reset. Let me go back. So I go back to the fucking email. I click the fucking link again. Do it all again. Everything's still there. Nothing's bad at this point. And I fucking click the thing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I guess everything's good, right? I guess everything's fucking good. So... Then, um, later on, I'm going through my fucking emails again, and fucking, burr, your order has been canceled, motherfucker. I might as well said, motherfucker. Right? I said, what? What are you, the fuck are you talking about, bro? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? So I go in the fucking thing, and your order's zero, 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 everything's fucking canceled. I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> okay, okay. So whatever, later on, get home, and I'm like, um, so I'm talking to him on the phone, and this one lady, talking to her, she's like, Bleh. um, oh, let me put you on hold, I gotta fucking, you know, uh, okay, so I'm on hold for like five minutes, and all of a sudden, shit cuts off, I said, are you fucking serious, are you fucking serious right now? So, whatever, I call back, I say, I got a guy, and I'm like, hey, man, yeah, I'm on the phone, just fucking, you know, this is this fucking story, I'm, you know, I can tell you, you know, fucking, I was, <laughs> so, this guy, yeah, nothing we could do for you. I said, what are you, like, now look, look, I'm not one of these people, like, if you've been here long enough, you know, you know, I'm a nice fucking guy, you know, but my job sucks, and fucking Friday comes, you're fucking with me, Friday the 13th nonetheless, but you're fucking with me on a fucking Friday, I'm dead, I'm wiped out, I'm fucking foof. So I'm really like, listen man, they don't mean to put it towards you, but um, this is really fucking crazy. I mean, think about it too. You're talking about a fucking Zelda special edition, and these things are not readily available. This is the reason why I pre you pre-ordered you know, early on, trying to you know, get a jump on it and everything. So, shit serious. Because you might not be able to get this fucking thing again, right? So you're fucking me. But, so I talked to the guy. Yeah, nothing we could do for you. I said, um, let me scratch a little bit. What do you mean there's nothing you could fucking do? Now, uh, what, the point is, nice guy. I would have been happy with a fucking... It, it's still fucked up. I tried to... Everything I could listen. You blah, 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 blah. But I still would have been happy with a fucking thirty dollar gift card or something, a fucking gesture. Say, even if the guy, even if the guy said, "Listen, yeah, I'm so sorry, man. Like the way the system is and how it went through, it just seems to be a fucking tragedy. What happened here and everything." But some sort of fucking gesture, some sort of fucking gesture. Here's a you know thirty dollar gift card. I even said that to the fucking guy. 
He couldn't do anything. To, I said, I told him, I said, listen, man, listen. Same thing I just said here. This is a special edition thing. How the fuck am I going to get this again? You know, I, this is not my fault. Your system fucking glitched. Your system fucked up. And I'm just supposed to be like, oh, sorry, fuck you. Right? I said, listen, how, how do you, like, honestly, the person, human being, the fucking human being, how do you think, is this right? You know what I'm saying? So blah, 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 blah. I said, all right, well, you know, can I talk to a manager or something? Because this is, the, this, no, I just, I was, I was not fucking around yesterday. I was not fucking around yesterday. Right? So get the manager. Fucking, um, you know, I'm like, I told him the same fucking thing. I said, oh, so wait, do you know the story here or what? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, the, the, claiming that um, a mismatch of information. I said, hold your fucking phone. Hold your train there, sir. This is what's going on. And I said, mismatch of information. How the fuck do you come to that conclusion? Even if that's what your system says, let me tell you something. The credit card that I'm fucking using is in your fucking system. Okay? It's not like I entered a new fucking card. It's in your fucking system. Okay? So all I did was click from here to here and press OK. Okay? And I've used this card before plenty of times on Best Buy. So how do you fucking tell me mismatch of information? Therefore, since I've used this card before, everything is kumsi kumsa. The fucking, your system glitched. Because like I said, I did it the first time and there was some sort of error that was going on. I did it the second time and said, thank you. So your system, it's obviously a glitch there, okay? Your si I'm not even blaming it on you, sir. I'm not even fucking blaming it on you, I, you know? Your system fucked me. So what can we do here? You, can, you know, can I at least get, oh, you're looking for compensation, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm not looking for fucking compensation, but fucking, I'm getting fucked here. And I, I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything right. I'm getting fucked. And there's nothing you guys can do for me, a, a simple gesture or something to say we're sorry or anything. No, no, we can't do that for you, blah, 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 blah. Now, the problem here is, is that I've called Best Buy in the past and I've learned certain things at Best Buy, like don't pre-order in the store, you have to do it online because they're in-store system, they, you know, they have the pre-order cards, but those are fucking, talk about system being fucking wacky do. Those cards, nice to collect, but those cards are, you know, you gotta pre-order online. If you wanna do it in the store, you do store pickup because they only know how to use their online system for something. Okay, fine. So I had a problem with them in the past about that stuff. Nice lady on the phone. Nice lady on the phone. You know, sir, we're so sorry. Um, I totally understand you've, you know, this was not your fault. You were totally inconvenienced here. You know, I, I wish I could do more for you, but you know, will, will you take, you know, a gift card from us? Yes, totally, totally. Thank you for being a fucking human being, right? That was years ago. So now, you know, you have Gamers Club goes away and all that stuff. What's going on with Best Buy? That's the point. What's going on with Best Buy? Because I, they changed some things recently and I don't know what's... They, that, that was this Yesterday was the real first inclination of, uh-oh, I feel a leak in the fucking ship. Something's going on because... You and, and Gamers Club was the first kind of inclination too, but yesterday was the real first inclination. But Gamers Club, you know, really fucking made a big splash, really differentiated Best Buy, really made Best Buy stand out, especially against like Amazon, you know, because Best Buy was fucking huge, and then Amazon kind of rose and you know, blah, blah, blah. But now that they're like what? Like it just seen. This is the corporate shit now. I'm seeing and hearing and feeling some corporatism, some fucking let's get as much money as we can and then fucking run ism kind of going on. Because you're getting rid of Gamers Club. Gamers Club had people. What the fuck? Oh, me. Gamers Club had people coming into your fucking store. Gamers Gamers Club was a powerhouse. You know, you had fucking, like, say, picture like Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior. You know, I had Hulk Hogan and Gamers Club made Best Buy, like, Ultimate Warrior. Like, somebody that, like, all of a sudden was kind of, like, on the same level as kind of like Hulk Hogan, like, power-wise and star-wise, you know, just, you know, 
Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior toys, you know, clash, clash, you know. Um, he, he, trying to think of superheroes, but whatever the case. Um, the untouchable force meets the immovable object, whatever you want to say. Game is called Really Made Best Buy like that. Now, I completely understand if, you know, Gamers Club was hurting them a little bit and it was a little too good of a deal. <laughs> That's fine. Modify it. When Gamers Club first came out, it was like $120, $119, $0.99, something like that. And, you know, it was a crazy fucking deal. 20% off everything uh, sold as new. Even if there was a sale on it, you get 20% off that sale and everything too, that price. So it was a crazy deal. So when it originally sold for $120, it was kind of like, well, that's a really, you know, cra it's a crazy thing. Like, I, we don't kind of understand why it's that price, but it was still like, fuck, shit. And then I think it went, it might have went down to 50 but then I think, it, then it ultimately, ultimately went down to 30 $30 for two years. You know, I could see $30 for one year, but $30... For two years of 20% off, that was a crazy deal. Um, and I guess they wanted to just make, do a big move, right? They wanted to do a big move and get people in there. And it worked. The Gamers Club was fucking amazing. Um, but if it was too good of a deal, you know, eventually, all of a sudden, all oh, Black Friday prices, you can't, can't use Gamers Club specifically on Black Friday. Okay, you know, it was a crazy thing. They want to modify it slightly. Kind of understandable, whatever. Um, but that was really crazy. You could even use it on Black Friday previews, whatever. So, you know, Gamers Club goes away. Why? Because you're, 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 you're in your suit. You have money down your pants, and you rub your pants with the fucking money, and you're completely devoid of humanity and what's going to keep you alive. That's why I'm, you know, and and the the guy that really you know, brought Best Buy up, kind of left recently. Um, they did leave recently, you know, and some other, some women took over now, and um, I don't know what's going on with that, but getting weird emails, like, like another email from Best Buy, ha, <laughs> don't click on, like, it's like weird, it's something, I don't know, it's just weird vibes, weird, and it's all kind of adding up, you know? Um, the Gamers Club really fucking made Best Buy a powerhouse kind of against Amazon, in a way. It made it differentiated them. Amazon did implement their own kind of gamers club thing eventually, but it was like a little different only on pre orders or something like that. Still twenty percent, but Best Buy anything twenty percent. That was a huge without Gamers Club, it's like oh you know. Really only if you have like an elite pro membership and you're trying to keep that for free shipping and stuff like that. You know, and, and appliances, you want to go to the store, look at it. There, there is still reason for Best Buy, no matter what. But a huge drop-off, in my opinion, and a huge mess, uh, you know, move turning away from Best Buy for a lot of people. Especially with the games and everything, because of the loss of Gamers Club. It was too good of a deal. You want to modify it? Fine. Maybe make it 10%. Maybe, you know, raise the price of admission. You know, you ask for it for your fucking birthday or Christmas. You know, you're not really paying that $50 or whatever the fuck they wanted to ra would raise it to. Modify Gamers Club. Gamers Club really had you really told Amazon, shit, I can't fucking get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? Um... But recently we saw Amazon implement, they come into Best Buy and now all their Insignia TVs, Insignia is the Best Buy brand, as Amazon Fire shit in it instead of Roku now. And someone in my family got an Amazon Insignia TV, major problems. Turn the fucking thing on, black screen, you gotta fucking hold this button down, that button down to re... Uh, initialize the resolution and everything. What? And previously, I swear by Insignia, Best Buy's brand, their TVs, their, their products and everything. I've never had an Insignia TV that let me down. They're amazing TVs. Supposedly, they're... And the reason why they're good is because they're made with leftover parts. I heard Samsung. I heard Sony. I heard LG. Maybe they switch it around, but kind of they recycle maybe last year's model of parts and put it in their TVs. So you're still getting great parts. This is, this is the reason why their TVs are great. Um, they're not just, you know, low-cost shit TVs. They're actually, like, awesome TVs. 
I've never had one that let me down. But, you know, you could have modified Gamers Club, but you just got rid of it completely. Because, because basically, fuck you, we want... We don't care about what would inspire people to come to our store. We want to just raise the prices as much as we can, grab as much money as we can, and then fucking run. That's what it's really starting to seem like with Best Buy. And I'm, I'm hardcore Best Buy. I love Best Buy. But after yesterday, when I, you know, talking to the first guy, he's just, you know, the worker and stuff. Fine. He's, you know, maybe they tell them don't fucking give incentives anymore. They scare them. But when I talked to that fucking manager and I, talk, and I said human being to human fucking being, listen, I did nothing wrong here. But you kind of, put, you know, how would you feel? The, my card is in the system. There's no mismatch of information. I told you when the first time I went to do it, it glitched. And the second time it said, thank you. The, I've used the card before. So there's no mismatch of information. Clearly, your system glitched, and I got fucked on something that, if you don't get it when you can, you're fucked. And you can't, as a gesture, even do anything for me. As in, I'm so, I'm so sorry, sir. This is, you know, how it went through. It just seems to be a, a, a tragedy that just happened this way. I wish we could do more for you, but here's like a here's a thirty thirty dollar gift. You know, some people want a hundred dollar gift card. Some people want to sue you. Some people whatever. All they wanted was a fucking gesture at least, and like I had in the past, a, a thirty dollar gift card, something twenty five, a little too low for the shit I had to go through. Because the, the guy, sorry sir, you, you know you could reorder it again. Okay, and I even told him. I said so you so I pre ordered all this shit a long time ago. I changed, you know. The card to the right card so you can get paid. I've used this card before on your website. So there's no mismatch of information. I'm basically fucked for doing nothing wrong. And, you know, you, and you want me to go hunt for this shit again. You want me, you know, the, the Zell, it's, it's just the idea of it. Even if you think it's, oh, it's items, stupid. It, you know, this thing is a, a limited thing. So I even told the guy, so I was like, so now I have to stay up to like two in the morning every night to try to see if this thing becomes available, inconvenience myself, all this stuff when I did nothing wrong. When I did nothing wrong. And you don't even want to give me a fucking dirty dollar gift card as a gesture of I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, we can't do anything for you, blah, blah, blah. This guy was so fucking, you know, soulless and not willing to fucking... Now, now you're getting... Bad fucking press because you don't want to give me a $30 gift card gesture and which is really nothing compared to how I got screwed here and now all the work you want me to fucking do to try to get this shit back. Luckily, the other stuff was still available somehow. Was still available somehow. You know, I got lucky with that. But that one item was a limited fucking thing. The other stuff could have been limited too because they that stuff has been in the past. <clears throat> but... Amiibo shit. <laughs> but this one item is like super probably limited. And, you know, obviously I said, you know, you can't fuck it because like I screwed here. You can't do something, go into the system and then just get, try to get me another one. It says coming soon, which usually means the Best Buy. It'll be available again for a short period of time or something like that. Um, it doesn't say sold out. It doesn't say unavailable. But again, I told the guy, I said, so, I, so I have to go fucking stay up till. Two, three in the morning to try to get this fucking thing. You screwed me. And you're basically telling me, sorry, you got screwed. You did nothing wrong, but go fuck yourself. I was like, you know, this shit isn't me. I don't come on the fucking internet to fucking um, complain, desperately complain to try to get fucking desperate clicks and views and shit like that. Hey, everyone's got to eat. Whatever the fuck. But... Those of you who've been here long enough, you know that's not me. But this time I said, you know what, motherfuckers? I don't make money off of YouTube anymore because I was part of the fucking apocalypse. And I never really fucking did. I mean, no, I'm sorry. Look, I got two things from YouTube ever. One, two years in a row. One this year, one the next year. And it was enough to just pay a cell phone bill. 
one cell phone bill this year, one cell phone bill that year. And then I was part of the apocalypse. So, but it's not even, like, I don't even give a fuck about numbers, the money, because I'm not doing this to try to fucking be something else to desperately get fucking money or something or attention. I do it for the art. I don't give a fuck. It's nice. It's a nice gesture to see the subscribers and everything go up, but whatever the fuck. But not, but I don't get, get money off of YouTube, but it's not even, I, w I wouldn't anyway. But this is now, I, I'm, you, you know, you're getting fucking bad press because you didn't want to fucking give me some sort of fucking gesture because you fucked me. I'm not the kind of person to come on here and do this on the fucking internet. But I, I woke up this morning. I said, you know what? No. I said, no. This is fucking, fuck you. Fuck bullshit. This is fucking ridiculous. And again, nice guy. Dirty dollar gift card. I would have been like, you know, I. it sucks. It's ridiculous. But at least you fucking, you know. But now because of $30, this, we have to do this right here now. And it just, it just wasn't right how I was spoken to on the fucking phone yesterday. It wasn't right how it was spoken to on the fucking... Not even like, uh, you know, I'm sorry, sir, blah, 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 blah. There's nothing we could do. Just with the attitude of like, I don't want to fucking talk to you. You're not my problem. Blah, 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 blah. So, you got in the past. You talked to Best Buy. They would, you know, understand you. They would talk to you like human beings. If they, even if they couldn't do anything, they would try to do something for you to... All of a sudden, getting rid of Gamers Club, not even modifying it, just saying, fuck that, take as much money as we can, and now all the people you talk to at Best Buy are like, mm. something's going on with Best Buy, there's definitely major changes there, and to me, it's all the signs that point to Best Buy is going this way, and yesterday was the real first major sign of something is this something you see the best buy logo but behind it something like purple poison is coming through and it's and it's gonna start to seep through the fucking sign soon um so i don't know i just i don't know i i, I don't know it's it, that that really made me say what the fuck is the point of best buy anymore except for like store pickup and you know that was ridiculous that was absolutely fucking ridiculous and um what the fuck was I even saying before about, you know, it's, 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 you're pushing me to be one of these people that come on here to fucking complain on the internet and try to get desperate money, desperate views. But it's not about that. I don't like to do that. But you know what? I'm, lately, 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 I'm just like, bullshit. Fucking bullshit. But you've pushed me now to come on here and... You know, th this is not a made-up complaint. Like, people try to fucking hate things. People try to fucking make shit up to come on here and get the desperate views and everything. This is a legitimate thing that legitimately happened. And I just woke up today and I said, I was going to do, do this yesterday. And I was like, eh, you know, it's not me. But then I woke up today and I said, no, fuck this. Fuck this. Your system glitch, you glitched, you fucked me. And then you basically told me on the phone, like I said, I even said to the guy, you guys, your system, not even you, sir, not even you, sir, your system fucked me, and you're basically telling me, sorry, you got fucked, go, if you could buy it again, buy it again, motherfucker. That's what you basically fucking told me and did to me. So you know what? This is, this, that is what drove me to come on here and do this today. I said, no. I said, no. So... And um, hopefully I can get the Zelda Special Edition because I love Nintendo. Um, uh, I never got to play... It's the Link's Awakening thing, right? Never got to play that game on Game Boy. Not really a 2D Zelda guy, but it's a 3D, 2D thing. Was really looking forward to finally trying it out. But now I got to hunt for it, you know. I could always get the regular game, right? But hey, I, I, I did everything right. I pre-ordered that shit. I gave you, I even changed my credit card for you guys so you can get fucking money. And, you know, I'm a big Nintendo fan. I love fucking Zelda. And I wanted the special edition, motherfucker. But, you told me, fuck you. <laughs> Sorry, not even, not even here's a fucking, oh, we cannot give you a, uh, a gift card because of this. Oh, we'll, we're gonna, we're gonna, we will escalate the situation. And uh, 10 days, uh, yeah, maybe you'll hear something. Yeah. 
Fucking bullshit, bro. Bullshit, bro. Anyway, Gears of War 5, though. Sick. Talk about respect. Talk about advancement. Talk about just graphics. Awesome. Plenty of things in the world to love, but this was just something that I was like... I was literally told, you know, this is not your... You know, you didn't do anything... I wasn't even told that, but basically, totally not my fault. Your system fucking fucked me. Your system glitched. Sorry, you're fucked. And you can go try to fucking buy it again from us. If you could find it, if you could hunt for it, if you could stay up till three in the morning and fucking find it again one night, hopefully. Whoo! Man, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joey JCM. And, um,. Certain things are just pushing me to start a little dark series here. And what a perfect time for the fall and Halloween and everything, right? <laughs> Love you guys. Enjoy Gears. Enjoy Zelda Special Edition if you get it and I get fucked. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> um, but somehow the Mebos were still available. I don't know how. I don't know how. And um, if, if they weren't... Pfft, I even said that to the guy. I said, while I got hung up on, on hold, and this and that, I even looked up some of the stuff. Most of it's still available. That's cool. But this is a limited fucking thing, and you really can't fucking do nothing. You, you know, you don't have any extra just in case uh, uh, extreme situation like this happens. You can't push it through for me. The system, the system, the system. Fine, I get it. But... I'm fucked here. And you don't even want to give me like a $30 gift card just for like a nice fucking gesture. Sorry for all this fucking inconvenience that this happened this certain way where, you know, we can't help you. They didn't talk to me like that. It was just like, fuck you. Like, I just want to, I don't want to, you know, talk to people like human beings. And I wasn't even cursing at the guy. I wasn't even fucking, uh, you know, I did get a little like, I'm serious. You, you know, it's not even, not towards you, not towards them. I know it's the system. I did get a little bit of, you know, yesterday was not the fucking day. Friday the 13th, though. What a perfect day to fuck with me, right? They slashed my fucking pre-order. <laughs> Jason, who the fuck is the Friday the 13th movie? Freddy Krueger? No, that's Elm Street. Whatever the fuck. But, god damn, man. God damn. Man. Man. I... Shit. Motherfuckers, man. Motherfuckers. <laughs> But yeah, I, I'm fucked, you know, pretty much. Um, I forgot where the track I was on there, but that's it. So, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on with Best Buy, but breathing in the air of Best Buy, it's starting to get smoggy. It's starting to get smoggy. Um, that's not a good sign. And uh, Best Buy was a great place, a great store. And like I said, all they needed, something like Gamers Club that really differentiated them and made them powerhouse against... Um, Amazon uh, they could have changed the deal they could have raised the price they could have made it 10% they could have made it uh, you know $30 for the year even and just come out with a human fucking statement listen guys you know we have Gamers Club unfortunately it was too good of a deal so we have to make some modifications but we know how important it is to you know people out there that have it um, so we still want to, you know, figure out something where we could still give it to you. Talk to people, like, this is the fucking thing. This is the fucking thing with corporations. They don't know how to be fucking human. And the humanism is what makes you money. It's a sickness. It's mental drugs. Because, see, that's one thing George Lucas understood. That's one thing George Lucas understood. You know... You can make a billion dollars now and never make money ever again. Or you can make maybe a little less than a billion. I'm sure he even made a billion. You can make maybe a little less than a billion. But if you're a human being, you'll make $17 billion over the next five fucking years. You know what I'm saying? But I'm starting to see the the mental drugs in Best Buy. Um... And this was a real fucking, uh, this was a real fuck you. And when it, this totally was not my fault at all. They couldn't even say that in that moment I typed in a new card and I made a mistake. 
and the information. Because like I said, the card was already in the fucking system. I've used this card before. So this mismatched information doesn't even match. That's mismatched information right there. <laughs> doesn't match the fucking situation. So that's it. I, I, I usually, you know, I try to... But this, I just woke up today. I said I had a fucking hard week and... This was just too inhuman for me. So I said, fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck no, baby. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joey JCM. Um, kind of... Mm, kind of almost want to say I'm sorry for the, for the vibes. But again, I'm not really sorry because this is not something to where I'm trying to make a story up to try to get desperate fucking views and stuff like that. This was, this was a major... Baseball bat up the ass. A legitimate situation. And, um... It's, you know... Because I'm a fan of Best Buy... It's, it's you know... They cross a certain line where it's like... Time to get fucking tough for you, motherfuckers. Because it used to be amazing. And if you adopt this inhuman way of fucking thinking... You might think you're gonna make some money now quick. But over a period of time, you will be fucked. Maybe, you, you know... They don't care when it comes to those certain corporations. Because... I don't know, they're golden parachutes, they're fucking, you know, if the business goes under, they don't give a fuck about the workers, you know, the people on top have their packages and everything, the place goes down, they get, you know, $5 million, so they make money now, as much money as they can, then the place goes under, and then they leave with a guaranteed at least $5 million on top of the money they fucking tried to swindle before it went down. It's a shame to see that happen to Best Buy because... You know, you need competition out there in stores to keep uh, stores and things, you know, grounded and, you know, stuff like that. So they don't get lax in their humanity and everything and just feel like they're the only person on the block. So they don't really have to fucking work too hard. They can just take, you know, leave it like this and people have no other choice. It, that's not a good situation. So Best Buy was really a, a major, a really underdog story. Really, you know... It, it really rose and then it went down a little bit, um, you know, because of the rise of certain things. Then that guy that was there, he really saved them and brought them back up and it kind of, I would say, almost put them above Amazon a little bit because you could actually go to the store. Um, plus, they started kind of maneuvering like Amazon to where they used their stores as kind of like hubs. Like, Am like Amazon has the hubs and they ship out. But, you know, Best Buy stores, you can go in the store or they're using it as an Amazon type hub. So Best Buy was really a major contender, but um, I'm starting to feel like um, that guy left. You know, maybe he just didn't want to retire, but maybe he left for a certain reason. He saw the, what was coming, the way things were going. Now new people have taken over. Um, most of the stuff still seems kind of the same, but you're seeing a lot of weird things happening, like the email titles, like, oh, please don't delete me, or something, whatever the fuck they said. I'm like, what? Like, like, it's like this weird, kind of fucking, um, trying to be, you know, it's nothing to all these corporations. The world is, you know, you listen to Twitter and everything, but these corporations, they run by numbers. They run by numbers, and the, the social media... Is a lot to do with numbers. But anyone can make a social media account. A 12-year-old can make a social media account. And they're taking 12-year-olds like seriously. And they're using those numbers on based on 12-year-olds that are just... Bleh, bleh. And this is why the decisions they make, you know, kind of wind up being bad decisions. And then they want to blame everybody else because they're saying, like, oh, like... Well, we were told to use numbers and it's not working. So we don't want to take responsibility to try to find out why it's not working. We're just going to blame people. Whatever. That's a whole different topic. Anyway, this is Joey JCM. Love you guys. Go enjoy Gears of War 5. If I'm not able to get Zelda, hey, like I said, mwah, there's still so many other things to enjoy in life. Um, you know, this, still finishing... Red Dead Redemption, so, so many good things. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, actually pure, untouched, old school Marvel, it seems. That's another fucking amazing game. Luigi's Mansion 3 is coming out. So many things to enjoy. Um, and like I said, I can get Zelda, the regular version, if anything. Um, but I really, you know, I'm a big fan of Zelda. 
and Nintendo in general. And I was really looking to get getting that special edition, awesome art book. Just, just stuff you could like kiss and like it's just like oh yeah there's extra juiciness and everything but it's joey jcm i will see you guys later